right, guys, and welcome back to episode 47 of the Raid series. Now, with this one, we're going into Shoreline again. Now, our favorite map. And we're going to go take an M4. And we're going to go do the Blueberry Tarn. So, we need to wear the, uh, the blue armor. And also, um, shoot people. Shoot scabs, actually. With M4. Now, I have heaps of 995 ammo. So the way I want to do this, I'm going to go M4 there. I take that off and that off. I'm going to put on a Valde sight. I like the Valde a lot. Uh, and this is generally how I do it the, um, most of the time. We need two lots of 995. And drop those players and then we need on top of that we need our docks case full of keys saves are pretty good at the moment and three markers so we have to mark the helicopter the road to the helicopter and the mark circle so three markers here them down here and we're pretty much good to go i'm going to chuck in a splint and I'm going to get rid of this med. Take one that has more. That's it. I think we're good. Um, there's no requirement to do this suppressed or anything. So it's just literally helmet, untar, and a Colt M4. We've got the other quest up here to mark the helicopter and also the ritual spot. So if we go into the resort, we can do it. No requirement to do it. It's not like a, something we have to do in a rush. And um, yeah, hopefully we can get some solid kills on the scavs. I think that's pretty much everything we're going to be able to do. We're slowly getting that one done at the same time. And yeah. Let's get into a shoreline run. We'll go in the morning because it's going to be a long raid, hopefully. All right. So in we go. Mark, mark, mark. Cool scouts. Simple, right? Simple. Hmm. I kind of want to go straight up from gas station. I think that's going to be the way to do it. I can actually finish healing up. A bit low in food too, so we might just take that. I don't really want to eat it because... It... Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, lag. This is annoying. I want to eat the Tashonka because it's good... Good food, but at the same time, it's uh needed for the quest, so we're gonna hold on to it. I'm gonna leave it at full auto, even though. It's not really the best thing with this kind of uh attachment on it, stock, stock standard. Leech. We actually need that for a quest too. Coming up, so I'm gonna grab that. Keep moving along. From that thing there across to this bush here? I think it's this bush. This one. Oh. This one. Well, there's definitely one here. Another cache around here. There it is. Oh my god, it's full. Maybe a gun to you. Worth a little bit. Meant to worth a little bit. It is useful.
Keep moving nice and quick. And keeping an eye out for scavs along here. They also spawn and patrol down the bottom part park there. I just blew up to a minefield. Righto. Now I do not want to get stuck down here too long if I can avoid it. One of twelve. Second mine. Oh, it's stutter. Alright, that's probably going to be the scavs that will spawn down here this early. We're going to keep moving to get away from this spot because that shot, everyone will be like, oh, there's players down there, and they'll start heading here. So we want to kind of, kind of keep moving as quickly as we can. Uh, Sniper Scav does not look like he's up there yet. I'm keeping an eye out in this direction for anyone who's come down from the radar tower. I'm going to go back down to the low ground now. The sniper's got, he's like up there like 90% of the time. And he devastates too. Get up on this high ground. This guy's in the low ground. Push straight up now. Do the marking at the the road in the helicopter, and then that way we can um, try and keep away from plate. Like so, those shots get heard, and anyone who's after plagues are going to be coming for them. So that's why I want to keep moving as quickly as possible. I do not want to be sitting still when I'm trying to do this task with this loadout. I'm, I stand out so so easily. If you lay down the bush, you still stand out. In this much blue. I like using the Valde sight as well. It's good close close to mid range. You can do long range shots with it too. Uh, I find I prefer the Voodoo. You're more useful for long range, but now we're going to try and keep an eye out for anyone on the roof. Just sit back down here for a minute. Wait for this marker to finish, and then we'll do the helicopter. We could go inside. Um, up to five. It really comes down to how ballsy we want to be, hey? Give it a go. All right, if we're going to go inside, I'm popping, a, popping this. Once we get in, our objective is to get to the mark circle. 
on the third floor. Dead here, so obviously. People have been here. I'm gonna wait here for a sec. The market are finished, just as a safety. Safety precaution. I also want to check what keys I've got. So for East Wing, I've got East 306 and that's it. Uh, we've got 112. Looks like East Wing hasn't been touched yet. Touch this. Search. Yeah. I get some food and drink. Too uh, worried about weapon crates here. Are you sure I'm on forward? Though? I'm not going to make that mistake. Now we have the 306 key. Wipe is used for a task later. I'll use the 306 key while we're here. Bang. Thanks. Flash drives. Jump over here. Get more meds. Eat this for food. Sounds like a pistoling. Not really super keen on searching a heap of computers. More food off this guy. Food and drink. Wait. Should be pretty good now. side we've got 203 306 216 what if we went upstairs Far enough away. And here we landed on the balcony. What is this shit? What is this shit? You could easily see where it landed. I was like, that's that's too far away. Nope. Apparently these grenades go ages. If you guys saw the grenade I threw the other day, it, it landed right next to someone and didn't even kill him. That's sucks. Well, same again. We'll just quickly chuck on another letter and go again. At least we got the markings done. I think we still need to survive the raid though. 
get the quest complete or the uh the peacekeeper one they're both peacekeeper quests but or this one he still survived the raid so it sucks that really sucks um do that but i had another m4 sitting there let's go that we will grab I'm actually really surprised that killed me. Um, got plenty of dollars. We can just grab an M4. All we need to do is grab the link search. We want the gas. Goes on the barrel, actually. That's block. Anything that's not the main one is better, if you ask me. One we want to get rid of. That goes there. We get rid of that. Put another Velde on top. That's lame. That's a really lame, but it is what it is. It's just Tarkov. I honestly thought I had so much room then. Um, quest item, quest item. Sell this one for a bit of money at the moment. One, seven. I think we're good. Pretty much all we need. We'll take a backpack because we can. And go again. Go back into shoreline. All right. We go again. Will we have a lot more success? Luckily now we've got a lot more space for stuff too. So uh, I'll swing by. I'm going to go straight by the... The village, hopefully get... Oh, the dorm... Ha! Not dorms. We go straight by the uh, cottages. All safes and the uh, scabs there. There should be two scabs. Then we'll head gas station, power station. Bus depot. And then we'll... Uh, we'll extract. I'm not going to worry about anything else after that. It should be... For that, we should be two quests done. So we get... We need seven scabs and to survive the raid. That's it. Frozen man. Remington man. Remington Mosin man. There he is. Let's go back this way. Let's we'll quickly loot the cottages. Maybe the scabs will come to us. Um, so yeah, states have been really good recently. Uh, I've been doing, I'm starting to film a, uh, a guide for it, collecting 400 saves. And um, I'm believing that they're actually worthwhile. Actually, 
you believe they're worthwhile? All right, so duffel bag and a key possibility in the next room. No key, duffel bag. Hear that? Could be someone on the other side of this fence. Get up. Why you hate me? Never had an issue getting up there. I've never needed to sprint either. Cottage key. Get in here. Cash something onto the table and an AK on that couch. It's the safe. Good little one. Cottage safe key. Here of Eli badge. Hmm, take what Luke can come out. Drink it. Make sure there's no flash drive in the computer and we'll keep moving. We're gonna go bus depot, power station, gas station, and then hopefully that's seven scavs. Down this way. Nope. All right, so we're gonna go bus depot, try and find some scavs. Hopefully the mad rush, the resort's already over. I can get to the bus depot without too much of a problem. Then um, we're not going to go actually into it. We're not even going to loot them. We're just going to try and kill them and move on. Seriously. Gave this fucking unleashes. Unleashes onto me. Instantly. I can't even see him. There he is. <coughs> Ant. Save the leg, save the leg. Oh my god. Hit he hit my chest once. That's down at gas station. That shooting then. Not too pixelated. Man, that was rough. There is another scab that spawns inside. <coughs> really Shit. not happy about the fact that I have a broken leg now. I ask now is do I go to the resort to get a splint? I don't really want to. I really want to get these scav kills.
Oh, out the top. And we don't need to search that out in the open. We can switch over, get the insurance fraud happening, and we'll search it back in our when we're safer. Not really the best spot. Pick when I'm wearing all blue, but it's better than nothing. So, pretty much gonna have to walk from here. I can do a little bit of running, but I don't have the meds really to really keep running, so. Now we'll just hold off on uh on running. So we need five more kills now. Four more. We're actually gonna cross over through the power station. We're gonna be on the on the other side of the gas station. Particularly if we heard shots down there, I don't really want to get involved at close range fighting on a player. And then we're going to uh, go down the edge of the shoreline bit. In here for a key, no key there. Jackets in here, eat that food. Blues can't hurt. We'll take it because we've got it. All right, so. go what I call the safe side and then down the gas station I'm going to scab at the back so I just want to quickly check for that one doesn't make any noise if he's there no so we can get a couple kills down at gas station go along the shoreline edge get two more kills and we're laughing This I I really just want to survive this raid as, as the most important part. You can always do another shoreline raid. But yeah. It really sucks that I can't sprint right now. I was always going to bring the splints too. I think I, I lost some on the last raid, and that's why I didn't. Oh, well, listen, listen, let. Scavs. Players, there's players like to sit in that spot right there, so. Being an eye out for players there as well. Resort. Can't see any bodies either. It's 
flaring seems really weird. I don't think I've got... I don't have any of the blurs on. Didn't hear some... I thought I heard someone possibly down at the bottom then. I'm not going to get four kills down it. That bit there was unlikely at least. I want to try and get one to two more here before I head that way. any scabs down here we're gonna heap keep heading forward oh, I hate this walking part I really just want to start sprinting I know as soon as I do I'm gonna like regret it along the edge there it's kind of new that they do it but they actually do patrol along that bitch bit, uh, beach bit right there now over here by the bush there's the cache the loot it thing I'm walking past it anyway right here Another pain. And kill up. I'd be grateful. Come on, give us a splint. Pack of Prime, work your wonders. No, that's TP. Didn't say one's not, not to complain about. So the scavs can spawn along the outside of the defense line and also inside. Usually there's always two inside late game. Early game, they don't, they're not there because there's a spawn down here for players. But late game, there we always two. So don't make me a liar. Peter, do not make me a liar. Give me two scavs. Oh, this is a late game. What is that? 12 minutes in? 15 minutes in? If there's nothing here, then I'll probably go up to the, to the radar tower, but come on. Don't do this to me. Alright, so the back of here there's a cache. Yes, I'm not going to complain about that either. Oh, I don't really need them. Hmm. 
Gonna go hungry at least. Alright, so we'll head up to Radar Tower. Really want to get these last two. And then uh, we'll head towards the Customs Extract. It's not a big deal getting the last two. It just means next raid we don't have to dress like a blueberry. And bring an M4. I think we need any more strikes. I think it's all Melboros now. Are they handed in? Perfect. Yep. So it's just Wilsons now. Two ca two scabs can spawn up there. Um. And. There can also be scabs over at the, uh, I don't know what you call it, checkpoint it's over there. And there's uh, sometimes a couple of scabs over at Road to Customs Extract, but like, they kind of removed them there from being there. I kind of wish they actually made a bit of a, like a, a patrol pattern of scabs slowly out from it. Maybe just to like give a little bit of warning that someone's either extracted or there's an extract camper, but... Maybe, maybe scabs should spawn in near the extracts. Even if there is an extract camper close by, just to make it so people can constantly hear that there's, there's players there. That actually would work pretty well. So even when there's someone there, that literally can spawn on top of them, you know? Interesting about that one. In the meantime, you get soothing rain. Hopefully two scams up here. Ooh, right. Come on, show us two scams. One. Bag might have something for me. Oh, the Holy Grail. Oh, thank God. Upstairs. No flash drive. Check safe. Scavs. Oh, freedom. So just past that house is the checkpoint, I'm pretty sure. So we kill, try and kill the any scabs around that checkpoint, we're done. And then we can just head to the extract. If they're not there, we're just going to go ro uh, road to customs extract anyway. So. We've pretty much checked all the major points of scavs. We even took our time. There was no, I think the one at village got... Sh uh, sorry, the uh, cottages 
got shot straight away by the uh, the other players, unfortunately. Draw line runs could be a bit, bit, bit slower, but at the same time, a bit too, um, do some outdoor raids. I usually do a lot of um, factory interchange, labs. Did a lot of uh, woods recently actually with the Sturmus dashes. So, good to mix it up. All right. Hopefully we'll be able to see a scav somewhere up here. Can't see. Cool. That's that quest done. Let's get out. Two breaks. Two bleeds, two breaks. What is that shit? Oh, with your pistol. PP19 or whatever you got. Hey, hang on a minute. Is that an arm break? All right, we're leaving one of the arm breaks on. We're going to go factory next raid and try and get the tremor quest done. Tremor face taps. We'll use all our best money by our best guns and we're going to try and kill people in the face. That's extracted. So, pretty successful raid actually. We've got the 12 scav kills. Uh, while dressed as a, a blueberry. Um, I got the... What else? Scav kills. I got the um, surviving the raid done. Yeah, I think that's all I needed to get done. It's still it's quite nice to just get stuff done, you know. Alright, so. Um I look up the beacons are done. Blueberries are done. I'm to hand in a heap of stuff. All right, so something I want to get done as well. Um, so we still need we need a clean wipe, a corrugated hose, and ox bleach. Um, I actually want to work on the hideout a little bit. So before I finish up this episode, so. Lavatory level two is required for a lot of things. So we're actually going to buy corrugated. No, we're not going to buy any corrugated hoses right now. Is everyone literally buying up every hose? Right, corrugated hose. Um, one, two, three. And a drill. Cool, that is now upgrading. So, work on that one. The aim to get is nutrition up to the next level. We need the laboratory level two. Um, and then we can work on getting some stuff done from that. Uh, don't think the corrugated hose is from the same thing as well. So, um, we can use that. Use it for that later. Um, Sold the paracord, so that's good to have some more money. And we completed the quest from Peacekeeper to get some dollars. All right, so besides that, I'm going to grab the Sheriff Eli badge. We're going to hold on to that one and hand in the food from this one. We've got four more to Shonka. Um, nails, we're going to hold on to Story, and that we can sell. Blood sets for now, we'll hold on to. 
PP can go. I hold on to those screw nuts just in case they need it for a later fight out upgrade because still got plenty to go on that. They can all be sold. Hold on to the gold chain for now. Some extra cash. The armor, which isn't going to hurt us. We could sell this cowboy hat on the flea market. Actually, starting to go up in value. Cool. Um, it's about the same as what would have been another vendor it for. Maybe it doesn't have a value, does it? No. Oh. It'll do. Cool. Go to therapist. Sell some stuff. Hold on to the story, actually. Dog tanks can all go. And we are done ski. Cool. So now we have that uh, broken arm. We can go into factory and get the uh, face taps or the uh, the tremor quest. So that's what we're going to try and do next. I'm going to buy, I'll use whatever money I can put together. Try and buy a solid amount of gear. That out. Go in there and, and really wreck as many people as we can with those, with those face taps. If it goes well, then we'll be laughing because it's another quest done. All right, guys, thanks for watching another episode. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for future content. I do stream on Twitch every day of the week, so go down the below. Give me a follow there. Any tackle of questions, feel free to hit me up in my live stream or down in the comments below. And lastly, I'll see you next time. We are, we are the youth of the nation. We are, we are the youth of the nation.